All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're actually gonna be praising YouTube. Like, honestly, I, I know it's kind of surprising to hear most of the time when I talk about like something that YouTube's changing or doing. It's not necessarily the most positive feedback sometimes, but I gotta say the new features that YouTube announced today for creators is actually phenomenal. They're actually really great ideas. And I think not only will they help YouTube contend against, you know, platforms like Twitch and TikTok, and Facebook even better than they already were before. But I think this is going to open up so many new gateways for so many new creators on the platform, and it's also going to revolutionize some people's content. So first and foremost, I wanna talk about the changes that are being made to the YouTube Partner Program. If you don't know what this is, essentially, this is the monetization element of YouTube. People who are eligible to and end up becoming YouTube partners are able to monetize their content on the platform. Now, one major, basically invalid form of content that doesn't really make money on the platform, if you don't know, is actually YouTube Shorts, which it's just short form content like TikTok, you know? But at the end of the day, it's really hard to make money on that type of content. But YouTube has announced today some major changes that will allow more Shorts creators to not only get monetized, but make a legitimate income from their content. And also for creators like myself who primarily upload long form content, but still also do YouTube Shorts, it gives us another avenue to basically not only grow our channels, but monetize the content as well. Starting in early 2023, Shorts focused creators can apply to YouTube Partner Program by meeting a threshold of 1,000 subscribers and 10 million in shorts views over 90 days. These new partners will enjoy all the benefits our program offers, including the various ways to make money like ads on long form and fan funding. We also want to support creators who are even earlier in their YouTube journey from gamers showing off their speedruns to trend-setting do-it-yourself makeup tutorials. A new level of YouTube partner program with lower requirements will offer earlier access to fan funding features like super thanks, super chat, super stickers, and channel memberships. To reward creators across a range of formats, we'll have paths for long form, shorts, and live creators to join this new tier in 2023. Stay tuned for more details. So essentially, not only will basically people who upload shorts focused content be able to start monetizing their content, they'll be getting a 45-55 split, meaning that you take 45% of the revenue. And this also counts even if you've used copyrighted music or content in your video. This is huge, man. Uh, if you don't know, TikTok is extremely hard to make money on. And you know, they have like their creator fund or whatever, where like you can get a portion of the money that TikTok makes based on your view counts or whatever. But not only is it hard to get into, a lot of people have given it very negative feedback. I've actually never used it myself because TikTok constantly hits me with community guideline strikes, unlike YouTube, which doesn't even demonetize my shorts, surprisingly enough. So YouTube offering creators in this category a legitimate way to actually earn revenue if they can create significant enough numbers is revolutionary for short form content. You gotta think there's YouTubers blowing up right now who are simply only exploding on YouTube because of their YouTube shorts content. The algorithm is busted. It's super easy to grow on YouTube shorts right now, which which is a good thing and I hope YouTube keeps that up because the more creators in the whole content creator ecosphere or whatever, the better, you know what I mean? So I think it's good that YouTube Shorts is going in the direction it's going in. I've been very critical of the platform before, but this is huge. This is revolutionary for this platform and it's gonna lead to a lot of new channels popping up and I think a lot of TikTok creators might really start looking at YouTube Shorts as a way to, you know, supplement their income and grow their brands, so. But also on top of that, they're adding the YouTube Partner program fan funding tier, which will unlock basically channel memberships, super stickers, super thanks, and super chat, which are all different ways to donate directly to creators during live form content. You can give super thanks under YouTube videos and purchase channel memberships under YouTube videos, but the other two things are primarily things that are used on live chats, which I think is a direct answer to Twitch's like affiliate program, right? Because if you didn't know, on, on Twitch, you have the affiliate level, which is like the bare minimum, you know, you can get, I think like channel memberships or whatever, not channel memberships memberships, but subscriptions at that point. And you can start getting like bits and whatnot, right? Well, this is kind of YouTube's answer. You know what I mean? This is a way for, you know, small streamers and whatnot that are starting to try to grow on that YouTube gaming platform that YouTube's really focusing on. It gives them an opportunity to monetize. And not only does this make YouTube more money, but it makes it a much more appealing platform. And they've been low key kicking Twitch's ass recently. The new features that they've been introducing to basically put themselves up to rival Twitch have been next level. They're getting them out quick, efficiently. They work 
work very well and they're already being adopted by streamers today. But those aren't even the only changes actually, and that's a good thing. If they announced just this, I honestly would have still been happy because like, yeah, that's great and whatnot, but at the end of the day, there's still more news. This brand new approach allows us to reward all YouTube partner program creators who make up the shorts experience, not just to those with videos running next to ads. In addition, since music fuels some of our most vibrant and memorable shorts, it simplifies the complexities of music licensing so that creators don't have to worry about whether or not they use music in their short. We expect the majority of our shorts fund recipients to earn more money under this new model, which was built for long-term sustain sustainability, my fault. Instead of a fixed fund, we're doubling down on the revenue sharing model that has supercharged the creator economy and enabled creators to benefit from the platform's success. Revenue sharing on shorts ads is yet another way for creators to make money. It adds to our full suite of products, which enabled us to pay creators, artists, and media companies over $50 billion over the last three years. We're also launching super thanks for shorts and beta to thousands of creators with a complete rollout expected next year. Viewers can show their appreciation for their favorite shorts and creators can interact with their fans through purchased highlighted super thanks comments and we're bringing together brands and shorts creators as part of YouTube Brand Connect. So not only is YouTube introducing these new monetization features for shorts creators and of course live streamers primarily, they're really ramping up how much you can make off of shorts and they're going to give people who make shorts only content a legitimate chance to thrive in the creator ecosystem. 45-55 split is pretty good, I'm going to be honest especially for shorts content and you don't have to worry about music licensing or copyright issues, that, that's so clutch. They really came up with that and did that, and that really is probably the, the sneaky feature, I feel like, that makes this whole thing worth it in a way. But also adding super thanks in beta to thousands of people, and they're also going to do the highlighted super thanks comments, and also getting people brand deals on shorts and whatnot through Brand Connect. They're really adding to the ways that creators can actually make money on YouTube, and it's all really through like this charged up fan experience. Experience, you know, this is ways that you can support your favorite creators and it's a way for your favorite creators to expand their brand and grow their content and, you know, do things that they couldn't do without that kind of funding. You know, I, I know a lot of people who, you know, these kinds of things, you know, channel memberships and whatnot help pay their staff and stuff like that. So honestly, I gotta say it's a W from YouTube and that's not even all. It's not even all. These are still, you know, really good features and whatnot. And I'm excited to see them personally, but man, this might be my favorite feature possible out of all of these three, simply because it's something that I've wanted for so long. I've experimented with websites that promise, you know, helping you license music and whatnot, right? And it's hard to get a way to legitimately license music from like your favorite artists, but YouTube actually has an answer for that now. And it really adds to their audio library that was already pretty good, already had copyright free music and whatnot, but you can actually license artists music directly through YouTube now. And basically, play them in your videos and you don't get copyrighted. It's incredible. So music is essential to shorts and across YouTube. Over the years, we've seen how creators can give classics new life or bring a local hit to the global stage. But the complexities of music licensing has meant that most long form videos that feature music, yes, even that one workout video you didn't finish, don't result in the creator getting paid. So in recognizing an opportunity to build a bridge between the music industry and creators on our platform, we're redefining how music can be featured in creator videos. We're introducing creator music, a new destination in YouTube Studio that gives YouTube creators easy access to an ever-growing catalog of music for use in their long-form videos. Creators can now buy affordable, high-quality music licenses that offer them full monetizing potential. They'll keep the same revenue share that they'd usually make on videos without any music. And for creators who don't want to buy a license up front, they'll be able to use songs and share revenue with the track's artist and associated rights holders. Creator Music, currently in beta in the US and expanding to more countries in 2023, will offer a streamlined process for creators creators, they'll be able to see instantly see the terms for their song selection. We believe creator music will mean more amazing creator artist collabs, more new tunes and players viewers playlists, and more ways for artists to break through, all while continuing to put money in creators' pockets. It's been incredible to witness entirely new industries built by creators on our platform. Our model since 2007 has been to put the creator at the heart of our economic engine and our shared success. We can't wait to see what gets made on YouTube over the next 15 years. This feature is actually awesome because I've wanted to do like music reviews for a long time and I'm imagining now 
that hopefully if they actually sign contracts with like the big record labels and whatnot, which I assume they will, it's YouTube, they're owned by Google, they have the money. That means I could legitimately do music reviews and actually like make other types of content that I've like really wanted to make for years at this point, but just really haven't been able to make, you know? A music review I feel like would be better if like you can listen to the music alongside the review. I feel like that's the fairest way to do it and that's stuff that I've been interested in doing before but just have never been able to do because the video just get copyrighted and I'll make nothing from it. But hopefully with this feature I can actually do that now and that'll literally like bring a whole new catalog of content to my channel that would have never have been possible. That's if this is implemented right which I'm hoping they actually do this the right way. So I think it's a W from YouTube. The, the announcement's good. I think the features are good. They just kind of killed this one man and it's just another way that YouTube has been putting themselves in an even better position to compete in the I guess online video ecosphere against all these other companies trying to get in. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub the Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about the new YouTube changes and signing out.